hello and welcome back to another edition of the big match where this midweek we're heading off to Dunfermline versus Albion Rovers at East End Park. We're bringing our coverage to you tonight from the main stand at East End Park which is a bit of a difference from the Ronnie McCarthy stand but we'll need to make do with the situation at hand. These two teams picked up three points in their opening fixture in the Betfred Cup group stage and now they go head to head to see who can possibly top the group ahead of the weekend's games. So without further ado, I'll now hand you over to the match day coverage, live from East End Park. Bring on the action! Well Lenny, the Betfred Cup, it's what, the fourth or fifth day of the Betfred Cup and I've managed to cover four games so far and this is the fourth of that lot. I've got another two to come this week, but for now, we're doing the score predictions for tonight's game, Dunfermline versus Urban Rovers. From Morton to Partick Thistle to Dunfermline, we've got that variation of fans in tonight, so let's see what they have to say. Hello, 1885 Ben viewers. Um, my score prediction for tomorrow night's game uh, between the Fairland and Albion Rovers, I think it's going to be a one goal margin. Uh, and I do think Dunfermline will win, but I feel Albion might score because Dunfermline's defence on Sunday kind of lost down in the second half, and I can sort of see that happening again. So I'm going to say 2 on Dunfermline. My prediction for the Dunfermline v Albion Rovers game tonight I'm going to go for a 4 0 win for the Pars. I think Andy Lyon will get two, Ryan Dunn will get one. Miguel will get one, so I'm going to go for a 4-0 win. So it's Albion on Wednesday. I'm going for I'm going for four 0 Ryan Dow to get a hat trick, and Andy Ryan to score. Dunfermline versus Albion Rovers. I'll go two 0 Dunfermline. Kevin has the double. And tonight we're going to set a like target of the same as the last couple, 80 likes, and let's see if we can continue to hit that wee kind of target. It's a good wee kind of precedent to set for these videos, just a wee pre-season kind of entry into it. So let's see if you can do it again. Do your thing. Tonight's location, as you can see, is the SRJ Windows South Stand, but to me, it'll always be known as the main stand. Easy. 
Tom Nunn and again. Oh! 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 What a guy would have been. Oh! He's through. That's good way to go. Oh! Man! Go on then. Oh! Good ball! Go on then! Yes! Aaron Godfrey! We're right back in on it now. Aaron Conley ended up in that position on the pitch, I'll never know, but tapped it in, 4 0 It really is just a game setting match at this point. There's no way back for Albert Rovers. And we're going to go top of the Betford Cup group. We're in again. Dow into. Oh! Oh, goal! Oh! Christ! Nesbitt. Oh! I mean, the chances we've created this game by the way. Nisbet, yes! Nisbet! Yes! Both of the goalies are right, but... Perhaps up for Nisbet, but it looks like the goalie has been injured. the players surround him, so hopefully he's alright. And that is certainly never a good sign. Half time. Well the goal that's currently done turns out to be excellent fellow and goalkeeper Ryan Goodfellow. So an even more disappointing not to end a half on really. Well, Jen, 6 0. Your thoughts? Considering you predicted 2 1, you a bit ashamed? Yes, I wish I was there. Well, for those of us that were there, I'm sure you're all delighted with that performance because how can you not be? That first half 
at times it was scintillating football really there was a lot of really nice play and as I said in the video Kyle Turner what a boy Kevin Nisbet getting a hat trick as well but also linking up with Kyle Turner which shows just the different sides to Kyle Turner's game he had the complete game the night and for his first competitive start at East End Park what a performance to put in and stake your claim for a first team place because obviously players went out the team the night which were Andy Ryan and Josh Coley and Kyle Turner came in sort of in the place of Andy Ryan even though he was pretty much playing off Kevin Nisbet rather than up top with him but it worked really well and some of the touches forget the goals that Kyle Turner scored which were absolutely sublime but some of the touches that he made throughout the game were fantastic and forgetting Kyle Turner for a minute the rest of the team fantastic again and even the young players that have come into this team they're proving their worth Stuart Morrison flawless performance at the back of the night and of course talking about youngsters one of our ex-players Ryan Goodfellow obviously had to go off at half time which looked quite a nasty one so Best wishes to him, of course. Hopefully he can recover quicker than it looked because obviously he went off having to get oxygen and stuff. So didn't look great. But we were fantastic tonight. We're top of the Betfred Cup group. I'm going to stop talking now because what else can you say about this team? But that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. And if you're a Dunfermline fan, you will have enjoyed this video. So please do smash the like button. Comment down below what you think of Dunfermline going into this season. Are you afraid if you're a championship fan? And subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, which will be around Fraud FC, good guys, and Bobag FC, <laughs> I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.